I picked up a chocolate pod when I was uh, out purchasing some plants in South Florida today. They had some chocolate trees and they were kind enough to give me a pod. And when I opened the pod, um, every single seed in the pod had, was in the process of sprouting or germinating. And there's one right there and you can see the little root just starting to come out of there. Right on the end there. And that's some of the rag that was in the pod itself and I had to sort of cut this pod into quarters to gingerly get all these seeds out. I think I had 37 or 38 and here they are in their containers. So uh, so this will be part one and I'll uh, in about two or three weeks we'll see what kind of germ rate I got on this and I'll attach uh, another section to this video. Uh, I watered them in real good. They like a lot of moisture. I put a soil activator in some organic, very, very small amount of organic fertilizer and then some analog of that Super Thrive. I think it is Super Thrive. They just buy it in volume and sell it in those little bottles, uh, one of the places I go. So anyway, uh, chocolate tree, Theobroma coca, uh, and we'll see what happens. This is uh, May 2nd, so I'll come back in a couple weeks if, if there's anything happening. This is 29 days later, and I'm just showing the progress in that time. Uh, pretty much 100% germination uh, success on these. Um, the only one over this little guy right here is kind of the runt, but I pulled him out this morning. I think he's going to come up, but everybody else came up. And uh, interesting how they unfold. It's almost like a cotyledon leaf right there, which is kind of the, the seed or the whatever it is. Uh, the, the bean, I guess. But anyway, here's 29 days. And I'll follow up later and we'll see how far they go in another month or so. It's July 25th, so this is day 84 since I first planted the um, original batch of about 35 seeds. Uh, and sometime in the first or the beginning of the second week of June, I planted another batch. I went back to that nursery and got another cocoa pod. Uh, so I had a total of close to 70 seeds planted, um, and I uh, got a pretty much 100% germination rate on that. And uh, but during the uh, the the post germination, I guess is the right way to say it, uh, there was a lot of damping off in that sort of first cotyledon leaf stage before the new uh, true leaves started to show up. I got a lot of this. Sorry, this right here, damping off, um, and this tray is a good example of that process of damping off. Those ones in the back are toast. These guys, probably all but one of them, will be toast. Uh, so let's see. I've got about 10 in that tray, and so there's about 31, 32 from 70. So just under 50% success, maybe 45% success rate on the germination. Uh, I've been getting a lot of rain lately, plus I've been keeping on it with water, so they've never really had a chance to dry out, uh, which I believe is what they want. They want to stay fairly moist. Uh, I've been feeding them, but again, with the regular watering, with liquid fertilizer, that doesn't stick around too long. And um, These down here are a nice deeper green, whereas these have a little bit of tip necrosis, a little bit of burn, and I don't know... I kind of mixed everything up, so I don't know which was which. What's interesting, though, is they're all the same size, even for having been a month apart in germination, so that's kind of interesting. So there's your germinating chocolate seed video, and these will all just sort of be given away as gifts to people that can raise them as pets in containers.